Welcome back friends. Today is July 5th, 2018. This has probably been one of the hottest summers that we've had in quite a long time. The grass is really starting to dry out and burn. We haven't had much rain lately and every day the temperature has been like over 90. So I haven't really done a lot of work inside the garage here because it is just blazing hot. So I'm kind of hoping for a day like under 90 that would actually seem kind of cool compared to what we've had lately with all the humidity. So one of the things I'm doing today is that I want to rework that work corner. This one right here was a complete mess. So if you saw the video I put out about a couple weeks ago showing my Casey Neistat inspired work corner. And now that I've started living a more organized life, that's something that I'm always striving to do. It doesn't come natural, but I really want to have everything organized because right now I've been following the system, putting things back in place, trying to keep things clean and it's working really well and I'm much more productive. Oh, there's my phone. So I'm trying to think where I left off. The work corner is a system that really works well for me. I always put tools back and then when I'm going to build something, I just have something I just know where it's at. I could almost like close my eyes because I just know on the wall, I could kind of like feel where it's at and I always put things back. And there's something else that I just recently uploaded this week the Husky three-piece rolling connect tool system. So I have even more tools to put in here. So if I'm bringing something, rolling it out from here somewhere else, this has nice wheels that I can roll it on. So I'm looking forward to figuring out how I want to design that and customize it to fit some of my other tools. So pretty soon everything should have its own place. Now my next project is across the way right there. That work corner is kind of a mess. Let me just show you what I have going on there. All right, so one of the plans I have, I like to replace these toolboxes right here. They're kind of banged up quite a bit. I had them for many years and they used to travel with me in an enclosed cargo trailer in the home building business doing service work. And then I happen to have these shelves right here. They're made of two by fours and OSB. After a lot of jobs, I happen to have some scrap pieces and I just kind of repurposed them building these cupboards. But I think they're not really serving that great of a purpose for me. So I want to take some of them out and then build another backdrop maybe more like a landscapers and lawn care backdrop featuring like some of my chainsaws and some of those outdoor power equipment tools <laughs> and then maybe some more stickers mixed in with there as well so that's my plan so today i started going through the drawers and kind of seeing what i need and there's some things that just sat in the drawer that i just didn't really think about and they just it's like taking up space, but I kind of work around it and never move it or never do anything with it. But let me show you one of those things. All right. So this item happened to be in one of the drawers. This actually belonged to my grandpa. He was an auctioneer and an antique dealer, and he also uh, finished antiques as well. He's kind of a woodworker. So this is something I'm not sure. I believe it's cast iron. It looks like it's about 14 inches long or so, 12 to 14. It has a screw on cap. I believe I said it's cast iron. It could be steel, but I think it's cast iron. So I'm not sure what that slotted head, that threaded insert, and it's just kind of hollow. It's kind of hard to see uh, in there, but it's just hollow to about right there. So let me just show you a closer look at this. So if you happen to know what this is, please comment, share down below. I'm just really curious. It, my grandpa was also a logger in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan many, many years ago. And I know they had like dynamite, they could just go to the local hardware store. I know sometimes they would like put a, drive something into the stumps and then they put their stick of dynamite in it. I mean, I know this has, I don't know, just wondering what this is. So this video is just gonna be one of my shorter, uh, kind of more impromptu videos. So I have something pretty cool coming up tomorrow, I believe. I hope, hopefully the weather cooperates tonight so I can get it filmed. All right, friends, so thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet, ring that bell. See you next time.